Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to be able to sort the results of a filter function on multiple columns. So here's my data, I've put it in a table. And to do that, I went to insert and then table. And I also gave the table a name, it's called sales data. And the reason I've done that is it just makes it much easier to select the data and select particular columns within the data if it's in a table. So I'm going to start with the filter function and all I want to do is filter for results from the London branch. Now my array is the array of columns that I want to return as a result of the filter function. So that's these three columns here, comma, and in the include argument, I need to specify my criteria. So that's where the branch, all I'm doing is clicking in the branch column heading cell to select that column and I'm going to say does that equal the criteria I'm holding in G1. So if I close the bracket and press enter that gives me all those London transactions. Now I want to better sort by sales rep in ascending order but within sales rep to sort by revenue in descending order. Now what you can't do is just right click in the column go to sort and then A to Z. You can't change part of an array. So what you have to do instead is use the sort function. Now the first argument is array. That's the array of results that is returned by the filter function, comma. And then the second argument is sort index. So that's the numeric position of the column that you want to sort by. Now, if I was just sorting by one column, say sales rep, then I would just specify one because the first column is the sales rep column. So let's just try that, close the bracket and press enter. You can see that I'm now sorting by that sales rep column and it sorts in ascending order by default. Now I want to sort by two columns, column one and column three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify that I want to not only sort by column one, but also by column three. So I'm gonna put one comma three in there. Now, because I'm specifying two columns here, I have to put both of those column numbers, those column index numbers in brace brackets. So now if I press enter, you can see it's sorting both by sales rep, but also by revenue within those sales rep results. Now I want the revenue to be in descending order, not ascending order. So what I can do is then use the next argument, which is sort order. So one, specifies ascending order, that's the default, and minus one descending order. So what I do is I open up brace brackets again because I'm specifying two sort orders. And for this column, I want to sort in ascending order. So I put a one, comma, and for this column, I want to sort in descending order. So I put a minus one and then close the brace brackets and then press enter. And you can see it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.